I just installed this inverter in my house as well as a set of solar panels. So not only do I have clean energy, I have constant electricity 247. And in this video, I'll break down which inverter I chose to install, why I chose it, every single component, how much it costs and how much power I will be saving from using this system. If you live in Nigeria, you know that electricity is kind of a huge challenge. You either have to put up with very poor power supply or invest in the deafening sound of generators or spend slightly more on an inverter set. So let's talk about my setup. Without further ado, let's get to it. So what did I get? The inverter I got is called the Huawei Power M. It's a 6 kVA power module inverter. And in addition to that, I got two 5 kilowatt hour lithium ion batteries. The power module, which is the inverter, costs around 1.5 million naira. And these prices are subject to change due to forex situation. So be on the lookout for that. Each lithium ion battery costs around 1.84 million naira. So that's about 3.68 million naira for both batteries. Then we got nine solar panels, 580 watt solar panels on the roof and each one cost 140,000 naira so that was around 1.26 million naira on solar panels so when you add all the other accessories like the ac and dc surge the earth cable the protector ac adjust the dc breaker the distribution box the rails and all the other accessories the total was around 7.26 million naira so first off where did i get this inverter solution from i got it from fuani nigeria and if you're familiar with the channel you know that we've worked with fuani nigeria in the past we've done some amazing collaborations if you're familiar with our videos you kind of know all what we've done and if you haven't i'll have links in the description below to check all those videos out now speaking of the link in the description below the first link takes you to their website and you will find all the options to pick so what exactly does 7.2 million get you in terms of a power solution and why should you even spend that much let's talk about it we'll start with the build quality on this thing it has this frosted texture and aluminum alloy enclosure i could knock on this thing and you would think it's stone it's solid It's also slimmer than I thought it would be actually. I thought it would be bigger and thicker, but it's more sleek and compact. It measures around 165 millimeters or 16.5 centimeters in depth. What about IP rating? This thing is IP66 water and dust resistant. So that's very assuring to a certain level that you know you are protected. And from what I read, you can mount it outdoors, but I will not be trying that. Each part has some meaning. The top is the inverter, the bottom two are the batteries, and the last bit is the floor mount. What I like about it is that it is also upgradable. So right now I have two batteries because of course they are quite expensive and we'll talk more about what load this currently takes up in the house. However, if I wanted, I could go with just the inverter at the top, one battery in the middle and the bottom floor mount. So this means I would get 5 kilowatts of inverter capacity and a 5 kilowatt hour battery. My setup is currently 5 kilowatts of inverter capacity and 10 kilowatt hours of battery. I can just add another battery between the inverter and other batteries to get three batteries giving me 15 kilowatt hours of battery. So I really like the modular design of these and how each battery operates independently so it charges on its own volt and current. Regular inverters can't just mix new and old batteries since they limit each other but something like this would actually work in harmony since they are proprietary you know they are made by the same company you basically don't have to go all out on the batteries at once you can start with your inverter and one battery and then work your way up to two and three batteries just you know like that i think in the future i'll probably consider adding one more battery to my setup but i can use this one now what i also like is if you need way more power to have you know you have a big family for instance you can join up to three towers together giving you 15 kilowatts of inverter capacity and 45 kilowatt hours of battery that's going to cost a pretty penny though in terms of design most houses i've visited with standard inverters have them either hidden in storage you know they can have them in the kitchen sometimes they have them outside or when you see them you know they have like sharp corners and it just takes up a lot of space this this one here just sits in sits in the place looking like furniture it looks like it's part and you know it's like a like an installation piece of some sort according to huawei they didn't add lcds you know like a screen or buttons to the inverter because 
they would wear out quickly in like five to seven years. And they call these parts vulnerable parts because they will require maintenance. Basically, they kind of wanted something that would last forever, something that would last 10 years and still have 70% of its capacity. Hence, they only put a display that is like a circular ring that just shows the battery indicator and the level that it's charged and just two indicators, a red and a green one that you would just basically know what battery percentage you have. When the installation team came to the house, I noticed one design element that stood out to me. The cables are hidden on the inside. There were also less things to connect to, making it much easier for them to install. And of course, if there's anything they need to fix in the future, it is very easy that you can just remove something and put something back. Before going deep into the performance, I just wanted to mention how silent this inverter system is as well. It's pretty quiet and it's this silent tone. You can hear how the room sounds with the AC and fridge on and when I turn them off, this is how it sounds. The inverter does get warm to the touch after a while, but it does this interesting thing. It's a fanless system. Again, this is something Huawei is trying to do where they make it as low maintenance as possible. And this is because fans wear out. So yes, it's fanless where cold air enters through the sides at the bottom and hot air leaves at the top, removing the heat naturally. The other thing I learned was that if there were fans and the fans wore out, it would start overheating. But having a design like this makes things work naturally and of course, silently. Of course, you can use the inverter unit without your regular light or solar panels. But in this situation, which the aim is to try and get 24 hours of electricity, we will maximize our options to the best of our abilities. It can withstand a wild voltage jump between 90 volts and 300 volts. So if you're using something like a diesel generator, for instance, it can still take it. Also, when Nepa takes the light, you know, or PHCN for lack of a better, we don't know which one it is. But when power is cut off, it would switch very seamlessly. You will not even notice when there's light or when there's no light. And you just enjoy constant electricity and clean energy. This is what the capacity of the smallest combination can take, as you can see here. And our configuration here with the inverter and two batteries can take three lamps, three home theaters, three TV consoles, a blender, two fans, one refrigerator, one inverter AC, and one washing machine. And it will do this seamlessly between three and four hours. Now that's something. For my house, I'm powering this standing unit with it. Yes, it's an inverter unit. I'm also powering some ACs in the house, some in the bedroom, the inverter microwave, the inverter washing machine, every single light fixture, and my refrigerator, which also has an inverter compressor. And as I've said, it can take up all those appliances, so I'm pretty much covered. I'll leave a link to this document if you want to see the capacity based on how you can stack the inverter. You know how we talked about the inverter not having an LCD screen? Well, almost everyone who would get something like this would probably have a smartphone. So uh, when I installed it, the installation team actually prompted me to download the Fusion Solar app. Uh, basically, you can view the current and historical performance of this inverter via the app. You can add the price of your normal grid or NEPA for lack of a better word and uh, the app will calculate how much you are saving. There's also data on how you'll be saving CO2 by using renewable energy that will be shown on the app and basically you'll need the app for any issue that might come up or anything that needs fixing and it can be done remotely. Alright, so in terms of cost savings, I'm potentially going to be saving around 180,000 to 250,000 naira per month with this solution. So between two and three years, it should pay for itself. I would basically be generating my electricity for free after that time. I honestly don't mind something like that. And one other thing I like is the warranty system. You have 10 years of warranty, which is very impressive, of course. And not just that, since there's a signing process, the issues can be diagnosed remotely. So the technicians don't have to take a trip down to your house. They can actually know what the problem is again via that app and if there are any warranty issues they don't repair them they just and they don't even give you spare parts they just get it replaced that's actually very nice let me know what you guys think about this system in the comments below is there any question that you have just let me know in the comments i'll be right there chatting with you guys i'm going to be using this in the coming months in the house and i'll be doing a longer term review so make sure you're subscribed to see that i'm going to just share my experiences how much i've saved everything all my experiences about this inverter system in the coming months so make sure again you're subscribed and let me know what you would like to see in that video as well thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the very next one